but overall it's been really nice that cab suspension has been working awesome because we are just in a pasture here right now we just loaded up two fent tractors i have this really tight spot here and i was able to chain them down Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Austin and I work at Full Line Ag, a farm equipment dealership located here in the beautiful province of Saskatchewan. And today, right now, <laughs> we're actually on our way to do a Fent tractor demo, a Fent 720. It's gonna be hooked up to Flexi Coil, uh, I believe Heavy Harrows, and then they have a little Salford Valmar uh, spreader on it that they're gonna be spreading some grass seed. So. I am following them right now to the field and we back there we have the fence following us so that's what we're up to first thing today so this might not be exactly what you were expecting <laughs> seeing fields and everything here in Saskatchewan we are actually in the hills so this is an area where it is known to have lots of hills, lots of big hills. So we are gonna be seeing kind of what this fence is like in some pasture and in the hills, pulling those harrows. We have that Fent 720 paired up with some Flexi Coil Harrows and a Valmar 6056. And we're putting down grass seed and just harrowing it in. We can see our passes going that way, coming back. And we are right in the hills. But they're way but they're way back there and I'm gonna be now jumping into my truck and grabbing the drone. And I'll probably perch myself up on one of these big hills and zip that drone around and get some footage. <laughs> So as we can see there back there driving the tractor giving it a good go and i'm just sitting around i did a little bit of drone footage and i guess we can kind of take a look at the hills that were in here and kind of what they're doing is this grass that they seeded oh, i forget how many years ago that didn't catch on kind of as good as they would have liked so they are just reseeding it a little bit, using harrows to work it in. And they're going about 10 pounds to the acre 
of a grass seed. Um, they also got legumes or legumes or however you say it mixed in. Uh, but they're mainly just going for grass seed that they're trying to uh, overseed this stuff and really get it to catch. But these hills here are wicked. But overall, it's been really nice. That cab suspension has been working awesome because we are just in a pasture here and it's actually been doing a heck of a job. So it is now actually a different day and right now we just loaded up two Fent tractors, a 516 and a 933 and I'm going to be hauling these to Purdue. I'm actually really proud of this one, how I got it chained down today. I have this really tight spot here and I was able to chain them down, pulling all apart in different ways and not even have these chains touching. I had to improvise, go a little higher with this chain and then a little lower with this chain, but I got it all figured out pretty good. And if we look at the back here, it's also pretty good. Pulling all that way and pulling this way, essentially ripping that tractor apart to make sure it's nice and secure. So I decided to put the 933 at the front and the 516 at the back of the trailer just because that 933 is so much heavier. So I want the most weight on the trailer right on the truck, on the more on the axles of the truck. And then the lighter thing on the axle of the trailer. It's just a nice, nice ride. It's a lot better. And I was able to squeeze it all on, which is good. But it is extremely, extremely warm out today. And I've been working out here for the last two hours now, getting it loaded, getting the trailer and the semi connected and chaining it all down. So I am, I'm tired. I'm ready to get in the semi and the air conditioning and take off to Purdue. Well, we made her to Purdue, so. Now it's time to get back out in that heat and unload those two Fent tractors. And then there's a Massey 4710, which is a 100 horsepower one that I have to load up and bring back to the city. So there's the 933 and there's that 516. So let's get these chains off and load up that other Massey tractor and get back to the city.